Hi everyone, my name is Arnaldo from the education team and today I'm going to teach you a very simple yet sometimes overlooked uh, design tip uh, for working in Editor 2.0. This is the section that we're going to be working with and I want to start off by saying that there is nothing wrong with the way this section was built. Um, as you can see here, this area was built using two different sections, but what happens if I want to change my background? Um, then because I have two different sections, it becomes a little tricky to do so. So instead I'm going to show you a different way of designing this same section, uh, this same area so that it's only one section that we have to work with. I'm gonna start off by adding a new section right below. <clears throat> and you'll notice that whenever I add a brand new section to my editor, I have two columns uh, by default that get added. So I'm gonna go and delete just one of the columns here. Okay, I'm going to open my design panel here so that I can see the stacking direction of this column. And we see here that it is currently set to vertical, which is how I want to keep it. Uh, now, once again, I'm going to rebuild this section uh, up here and I'm kind of gonna cheat. I'm just gonna copy over elements, so let me go and copy this text block here and paste it below. Good. Now you will notice that these two widgets right here are sitting side by side next to each other and it's not as easy as, or it's not as straightforward as just copying these two elements and pasting them into the uh, section below that I'm creating. Right? Because the stacking direction of this column has been set to vertical, then any elements that I add to this column will be also set to stack vertically. I will not be able to just simply drag and place this second widget uh, next to the accordion widget. That's not how our columns work. Instead, what I want to do is I want to add an inner column. And you'll see here that when I open the layers panel under layout elements, I have a couple of different layout elements to work with. I'm going to use a horizontal, uh, a horizontal inner column and I'm just going to place my two widgets here. And I can easily switch uh, the placement of these two to match the section right above. And we're almost done. Now all I need to do is just go ahead and uh, polish this area to make it match the section right above. And I'm so how I will do that is I'm just gonna give this a background color and also change the corner radius. And so let me minimize the design panel so we can compare both sections. So there is our original section. And then here is the section that I just created below. So now this entire section functions as one single unit. And so if I wanted to give this section a background image, then now I can. Whereas uh, before, if I wanted to give this section a background image, then it would, this image would not have applied to the second section and I would probably need to go into the, um, the editing, the image editing tool and then try to crop it uh, and try to play around to make these, uh, to make the background look cohesive. And there you have it. I hope this helps you build better in Editor 2.0.